Many women who step into the limelight become famous from their talents, whether it be singing, dancing, acting, or even all three. On top of that, their beauty adds to their fame. But there are certain female celebrities who become famous just for their beauty, and at times for certain assets they may have. One of these celebrities was Vicki Dugan, who became famous for her backside. Join Facts First to learn more about her life and career as we present Vicki Dugan Regrets Being Famous for Her Backside. Vicki Dugan was born as Edith Tooker on January 1, 1929 in Brooklyn. She came from a stable beginning as her father was an insurance salesman and her mother was a librarian. Her family was stable until age six when her father left the family. This left Vicki having to be raised alone by her mother and they had to find ways to make ends meet. But life with her mother didn't last too long. While this wouldn't be allowed today, Vicki's mother felt she couldn't take care of her daughter and sent her to upstate New York where she lived in shared housing, having to find a way to survive on her own. This might seem shocking today, but it was the norm for many children and families following the Great Depression. Beginning at age 11, she began modeling. She managed to make a decent living from it and decided early on modeling would be how she'd survive. She appeared in many print ads and also entered and won beauty pageants. At times, there were disappointments due to her age. She tried to become the face of a popular alcohol brand, but since she was only 16 at the time, she didn't get the gig. Nevertheless, she persisted and continued to enter as many beauty contests as possible. She also modeled for as many brands as possible, and soon enough, she could support herself solely on modeling. She eventually transitioned to film and had a brief but nevertheless successful career in Hollywood. This brought her more attention and helped catapult her modeling career even further. One of the photographers with whom she worked was William Simons. They got married in 1946 when she was only 17. At age 20, she had her first child, and while this can be a setback for many models, she was determined to become even more successful. She ended up having two children and managed to balance her family life and her professional life without issue. As she grew more popular as a model, there was a now shifting focus in how models were perceived. Rather than looking at the beauty of their faces, the 50s and 60s were moving away from the conservative attitudes and weren't afraid to put more emphasis on a woman's body. It was then that already popular Vicki Dugan became famous for something perhaps hadn't been noticed before. Vicki Dugan's Career Before we get into her later phase in her modeling career, let's look at her film career. She appeared in an uncredited appearance as a showgirl in a 1956 film called Back from Eternity when she was 27. It was a small role, but it got her work in many other films. Throughout her career, Vicki Dugan had 13 credits to her name in both films and TV shows. Her other roles were as a small receptionist named Marcia Miller in The Great Man, a drama film starring Jose Ferrer, an uncredited role in Hit and Run, a supporting role as Gladys Dunn in The Tunnel of Love, Karen in The Rebel Set, a bit part in Here Come the Jets, a one-time role as Phyllis Ryan in an episode of Bold Venture, a bit part in an episode of Peter Gunn, a small role in an episode of Michael Shane, a one-time role as Cheryl Carter in an episode of Sea Hunt, playing herself in the feature film musical Hootenanny Hoot, and an uncredited part in the 1967 feature Hotel, and finally a role as a bus driver in a 1967 episode of The Carol Burnett Show. As you can see, her work was consistent, but in 11 years of working in film and TV, she didn't have any significant roles, even though she did appear in popular shows like Peter Gunn and The Carol Burnett Show. After 1967, she decided not to continue with her acting career and to focus solely on working as a model. In the 1950s and 60s, the already famous model was now finding a new way to become a star. As we said, many models were becoming famous for their bodies, specifically their large breasts. One publicity expert, Milton White, decided that Vicki Dugan should also go through the same route as these pinup models, but rather than focusing on her breasts, he decided to focus on her backside. He arranged for her to be photographed in a backless dress. This emphasized her large and curvaceous bottom, and this was not something Americans were used to seeing at the time. It wasn't long until she earned the nickname, The Back. More and more photo shoots were taken with Vicky in clothing that emphasized her backside, and she soon became famous for it. This is what sustained her modeling career and made her stand out from the other models who were more famous for their large bosoms. Vicky regrets being famous for her backside. Vicky Dugan's backless dress photo shoots made her such a star that there were literally songs written about her. After this video, give the song Vicky Dugan by the Limelighters a listen. Jessica Rabbit's look in Who Framed Roger Rabbit was based on Vicky's look. She continued to be photographed for major magazines like Life and Playboy. In fact, some of the photographs she took for Playboy were published without her permission in Cavalier magazine, 
She eventually sued the magazine for publishing them without her permission. She had appeared in Playboy twice, once in 1957 and once in 1962. The photographs that were eventually published in Cavalier were intended for a third issue of Playboy, though she eventually prohibited Playboy from publishing them as well. After divorcing William Simon, she was briefly married to James Sweeney, a former football player who attended Texas Christian University. She had relationships with other prominent celebrities, including Glenn Ford and Frank Sinatra. All of this because of the backside people couldn't keep their eyes off of. But now Vicky is in her 90s, and she regrets being famous for her backside. She felt she wasn't able to have a successful career in acting due to getting into contact with some of the wrong men in the industry. She had also turned down a binding contract with Paramount, and she later reflected that this would help her acting career even more. She did seem to regret not trying to work in films and TV more. She felt there wasn't anything attractive about her backless photo shoots, and that the image of her showing off her backside was her playing a part and didn't represent how she wanted to show herself to the world. Vicki Dugan actually got a lot of jealousy from other actresses and models who felt like she was getting more attention than they did. These are the photos which she is most remembered by. Vicki Dugan regrets being famous for her backside, but unfortunately this is what many of us will think of when we think about her. But hopefully you'll also admire her for her tenacity and how she made a career for herself after being thrust into the adult world when she was only 11. So now let's hear from you. Are you a fan of Vicki Dugan? Did you know that she regretted being famous for her backside? Her life has certainly been great, and she perhaps owes a lot to her body, but then again, one may wish they were known for something else. Do you think celebrities who are celebrated for their bodies will always be remembered? Let us know in the comments section below.